Inuvo is a technology company that allows advertisers and publishers to buy and sell advertising space in real time. What is going on everyone? I hope you're having a great day. To be clear, I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Today, we'll be recapping this past week for the Inuvo stock as it was the most highly voted stock from my community poll the other day. But before I begin, could I please ask you to like the video and subscribe if you find this informative? Only 10% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe as it helps the channel out. I make new videos every day, so turn on the notifications to know when I post a new video. And drop a comment below to let me know if you're interested or even already invested in Inuvo. Okay, so this is the first article that we'll be going over, and it says that Inuvo to participate at the AGP Virtual Emerging Growth Technology one-on-one -on -one conference on February 4th, 2021. So. It says that Inuvo, a leading provider of marketing technology, today announced that Richard Howe, the CEO, and Wally Ruiz, the CFO, will be meeting with investors at the AGP Virtual Emerging Growth Technology 101 Conference on Thursday, February 4th, 2021. Okay, so this is not the biggest news ever, but potentially this conference could be pretty big for the Inuvo stock if they announce any massive news, potentially if they talk about you know how they're performing so far in 2021 or if they give an update on the other projects that they're currently working on. So this conference is definitely one to tune into. It is definitely one that I will be listening into and hopefully we will get some big news out of it that will potentially serve as catalysts for the stock. The next article that we'll be going over is one that I actually focus an entire video on. So definitely check that out if you haven't already, but I will just reiterate it in case you didn't see that video or in case you just want to listen in again and look at the article. So Inuvo launches software as a service version of the intent key. So Inuvo, a leading provider of marketing technology powered by artificial intelligence that serves brands and agencies, today announces the launch of the software as a service version of the intent key. By packaging the proprietary artificial intelligence, analytic modeling, and data technologies of the intent key in this manner, Inuvo delivers a powerful digital advertising solution that clients can encircle with their own services. Initially, the intent key was launched as an end-to-end -end managed service. This was done purposefully to assure the best resources for executing on the insights of the intent key, Inuvo's own people, would be in control of delivering results for clients. While this had the advantage of ensuring those results, which through three quarters of 2020 were roughly 50% higher than the key performance indicators set by clients, it had the disadvantage of limiting the market reach of the technology. Okay, so when I saw this article, I knew that this news was massive. With the launch of their software as a service model, they immediately make their patented software accessible to a $300 billion market, if I'm not wrong. I believe it is $300 billion, which is massive. Even if they get a slight percentage of that market share, like even less than a percent, they are making a ton of money. So when I saw this, I was really excited as their intent key platform is already well regarded and very reputable among the customers. So the fact that they're able to bring this to you know whole new market is massive. This platform uses artificial intelligence and data analytics and stuff like that which is the future of advertising and the future of many different sectors. So this platform is set to do very well and I'm excited to see how it performs. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the recent price action. So as you can see, Inuvo unfortunately went down 10% on Friday and went up 2% after hours. So this was very unfortunate to see. I believe that the reason why they were down 10% was the general market sell-off on Friday. There was no other news or no offerings that came out on Friday, so I do not know, besides the general market sell-off, why the stock went down 10%. But if you look at the five-day chart, you can see the stock has gone down 30%, which again is not great. It has underperformed this past week. Again, the market sell-off because of the short squeezes for GameStop and AMC could have been the reasons why, but down 30% is much lower than the other companies that I've invested in, so it was not a great week for Nuvo. Some things to point out is that this stock has been trading close to $2 for the past couple of weeks, so the fact that it's down at 1.2 
makes me feel like it is pretty undervalued. I think that we can see it potentially go much higher and start to explode early next week as people start buying the stock. But that's just my opinion. And this is a pretty volatile stock, so anything can really happen. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I definitely think that Inuvo has a ton of potential. Their intent key platform and the other projects that they are working on are pretty high quality and pretty advanced technology, which make me excited for the company. They have a great client list. They have a great management team. They are headed down the right direction, if you ask me. And I think that the intent key software as a service version will definitely help out this company. And also, I hope that the investor conference is a success and that we get some news and updates from the CEO and CFO that would really help out the stock price as well. But just in general, I really like this company. I think that they have great potential and I think that all they need is just to release some updates and some news on how they're performing in 2021 and that'll really help the stock price boost in my opinion. But again, I must warn you that this is still very much a penny stock. So it is very volatile as you can see by looking at the charts. So please be aware of that. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is still a relatively new channel, so every like and subscribe does count. I will continue to post videos in the upcoming days. And let me know what stocks you want me to review next. And I will see you guys soon.